It was a really positive year for the Health and Wellbeing Partnership in Coventry and Warwickshire. We had our year of wellbeing and we're now continuing that into wellbeing for life. And our main focus at the moment is prehabilitation for COVID. So getting people to stop smoking, reduce weight, adopt healthy lifestyles so they can be as healthy as possible. So that if they do become unwell, they stand the best possible chance of a good outcome. Another really positive initiative at the moment is our call to action. Our call to action is being led by the Coventry Marmot Partnership at the behest of the Health and Wellbeing Boards. We're working closely with businesses, be they really small corner shops, through to our anchor institutions, asking them to look at some of the things that we've put together with training and resources and make some pledges of things they could do to reduce health inequalities. Some of the examples are a review of HR policies to make sure there aren't barriers or discrimination, implement the living wage, perhaps strengthen investment in early years services that they provide, achieve the Thrive at Work Workplace Wellbeing Accreditation, support the Digital First programme to reduce digital exclusion, achieve the Disability Confident Accreditation, provide staff with something as simple as equality training, and to think about more flexible hours that might help women who have less secure jobs maintain employment. Any organisation, no matter how big or small, can find something it can sign up to, to really make a difference, to reduce health inequalities and to make a difference to the lives of the people in our local area.